Hello, this video is on my outdoor power equipment, what it is, what's wrong with it and how I got it. Well first we'll start with the chainsaw. The chainsaw is not actually mine. It's My uncle's got a fire business and some guy just left it sitting in the shed out there. And it didn't go and it was broken. The, the, the guy knows I've got it and stuff. But um, I just sort of use it and keep it at my place and stuff. Because I've sort of fixed it up with just old parts. And the problem that it's got is it leaks oil. Which I might even have a look at t today if I get around to it. And then this here is my weed eater. Which is a Ryobi I think. Which I got given to from a neighbour. Because the second it hit grass it would lose power. And then he left the thing in his shed, and now it doesn't go. I, I have had it going, but it's died on me, and I haven't really got around to looking at fixing it, and I don't really know what's wrong with it at this stage. But I've been a bit too busy to try and fix it. So I might have a look at trying to fix this chainsaw up now. I've been asked quite a few times of how I get a clutch off a chainsaw. Find the easiest thing to do is take the top cover off, then I'll take the spark plug out, which I've already loosened off, and then I just get a small rope, and then put some of it down to the combustion chamber, just stuff a little bit down in there, so it jams up. Then I'm just going to screwdriver, and this has got notches on it, so I'll put it in a notch, and then just get a hammer, and then just whack it a few times and put these off. Sometimes it takes a bit, and then all you got to do is just unscrew it. And there you go, clutch is off. And then you lift this off, and there's your clutch off. So now I'll look into the problem of what's leaking oil, and I'll get back to you. For this seal around here. I've just used some of this yellow stuff, so that fiber optic cable something, but it's nice and soft, so it should work pretty good. Okay, now it's time to reinstall the clutch. Don't forget to put your little ball bearing on first, and then you slip the sprocket on. The sprocket goes down first, like so. Now it's time to reinstall your clutch. Piece. Just screw this on. As tight as you can. And then I'm going to get some long nose pliers and just put them in here and here. And then squeeze it. Just twist it as hard as I can, and now that should be tight enough. Now you need to go ahead and put this plastic piece back on where you took the spark plug off, and then once you've done that you need to put your chain and bar back on.